Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today's food is the Vegan Butcher Vegan Chickened Out Burger. Now, I was thinking when I bought this, sorry, my hand's still in plaster, a lovely purple job here. Uh, when I bought this, I was thinking it might be with a bun, but uh, no, I was deceived. Uh, soybean burger. It's a source of protein, apparently. Packaging's very nice. I'd say it's uh, it's quite interesting. Doesn't appear to have any major problems. It's a vegan chicken burger made from soya. Uh, there's a nice picture of a a guy here with less hair than me somehow, which he, he looks pretty pretty snazzy. He's holding carrots and a butcher's knife. Um, uh, yeah, don't need those for carrots. Um, yeah, cooking instructions in the pan. Uh, medium heat, two tablespoons oil, pan fry. Chicken out burger for two to three minutes on each side until golden brown. Uh, one would presume you need to heat the pan in advance. I'll show you which pan I'm using, which is my new favorite one, which is this lovely cast iron skillet you can see here. Fantastic, nice and heavy, really holds the heat well. And uh, we'll see how they do in there. I'll get that burning and then uh, we'll talk you through the cooking process, which I imagine is turning it over. I also have a burger bun and I'm gonna have a double decker because these are extremely small. I don't know if you can see that. Let's open them and see what they smell like. I doubt they're going to smell like chicken. There is no way to open that packet. There we are. So, well, they actually, they actually do reasonably smell like chicken. That's pretty impressive. Okay. I will get the pan heated up. Get the two tablespoons, two teaspoons. Is that teaspoons or tablespoons? Tablespoons. There's an S in there. Tablespoons. That's quite a lot of oil. Okay, that's more than I was expecting. And uh, I'll get frying them. Back in a minute. I'm actually looking forward to this. Uh, the buns I've got to go with them are pretty nice as well. So the oil's just started to get warm enough. Let's put them in. Oh, what a glorious sound, eh? Hmm, did not think this through, did I? need a bit more oil as well. Pan's obviously not big enough. And I use about one teaspoon of oil instead of two tablespoons. Well, we'll see how they're cooked in a minute. I'll keep turning them over and making sure they both get some downtime. And they're browning quite nicely. They need to be cooked for, I think it was about 10 minutes. Only two to three minutes on each side until golden brown. That's probably gonna take me a little bit longer to cook them this way. Right, let's see when they're done. Not bad looking at all. Let's zoom right in and have a look, shall we? Seems pretty cool. I cut them in half to fit them in the pan rather than using a different pan, but this is bad food vlog, so I thought you might forgive me. Uh, they're, they're sizzling away nicely. They've had one minute on that side, so I'm going to give them two minutes on that side and turn them over for another minute. They should be fully cooked through then. I'm time for me to get the buns ready. Well, yum, 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 that looks ready now. I think it's time for me to serve it up. Oh, look, getting crispy on the other side. I think we're there. Smells nice as well. 
does actually smell not too much like chicken to be honest but it does smell like nice fried food it's nice sort of crisp on the outside coating from two to three minutes on each side and so I think we're ready here we are and here they are right off of the hot stove now one really weird thing is that's the advantage of one of those massive cast iron skillets is they retain heat quite a while so you have to be very careful about touching them about going near them and about how much heat is actually retained in them As you can see it's still cooking away there so I thought I'd put one in a burger like this with some tomato ketchup it's a nice little chicken burger there and the other two I thought I would try them as they were to see if there was uh, if we could use them in salads or something else these chicked out burgers to see how they came out pretty nice looking let's put that away and let's get the tomato ketchup nice person shot for the tomato ketchup oh i'm running low on tomato ketchup i have to move over to a non-brand one after this some people would put mayonnaise on but it's not really my kind of thing not a lot of people it is, but more of a ketchup person when it comes to a chicken burger. Right. Let's grab a dainty little fork and let's try some, shall we? Mmm. Well, whereas it's definitely not chicken. I'd say that it's got a texture and a flavour pretty close to chicken. Uh, it doesn't taste too bad. I have seasoned it. A little bit of salt while it was cooking. And that doesn't actually taste too bad. I wouldn't mind eating that as a burger. That's not bad at all. As far as chicken substitutes go, that's pretty nice. Wow. So, there we have it. Chicken out burger. Not bad at all. Whoop. Hmm. Hmm. What now is it going to taste in the burger bun? Probably pretty good. Hmm. I they went for tomato ketchup too on the photo. Mmm. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset if somebody served me that as a chicken burger as long as they told me it was a vegetarian one. Not the best chicken burger I've had, but not bad either. But let's rank it on the scale. In terms of chicken burgers, it's probably slightly worse than the Rustler's chicken grilled steak, which is not the, the chicken fillet burger, which is not the southern fried chicken burger, which I would rate as being more tasty. But in terms of bad food, I can't actually guarantee that this is bad food. Because looking at the ingredients here and the nutritional values, it isn't actually bad food. I mean, the bread's probably worse for you than the chicken. So, this is probably a good food blog. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will continue to put myself through all of these weird foods, but this one has been the chickened out burger. And I've got to say, it's one of the nicer ones that I've had. It probably isn't bad food, but please rate, comment, and subscribe anyway. Thank you for watching.